In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an AI-powered expense tracker using N8N, Telegram, and Google Sheets. You'll be able to send your expenses through Telegram, either as a text message or a voice note, and have them automatically logged into a Google Sheet. Before we get started, you're going to need to set up credentials for the tools we'll be using in this workflow, like Google Sheets, OpenAI, DeepSeek, and Telegram. Once that's done, you'll be all set to build and test the workflow. First, let's add a Telegram node and choose On Message as the trigger. This will listen for any new messages sent to our bot. Next, we need to set up a bot in Telegram. To do that, open Telegram and search for Botfather in the search bar. Start the conversation with Botfather, then click or type slash newbot to create a new bot. It'll ask you for a name and a username for your bot. Once that's done, it'll give you a generated link to your new bot. Click that link to open your bot and then hit the start button at the top to initiate the conversation. Now, your bot is live and ready to receive messages. Now, head over to the Telegram node, click on Create New Credentials, and a new window will pop up. Copy the token that was generated by Botfather, paste it into the Access Token field, and then hit Save. If everything's set up correctly, you should see a connection tested successfully message at the top. Now let's test it out. Head over to Telegram and type your first message in the bot. Next, jump back into our workflow and hit the execute workflow button to run it. When you click on the Telegram node, you should see the message you just sent appear inside the received object at the bottom. Now let's add a switch node to our workflow. This will help us check if the message contains any text before we process it. From the list on the left, find the text field under the message data and drag it over to the value 1 field in the switch node. Then set the condition to exists so it only passes through if there's actually a message there. Once that's done, hit the test step button. If everything's working correctly, you should see a green outline on all the connected nodes showing that the message has passed through successfully. Now, let's add an AI agent node to our workflow. For the prompt input source, choose Define Below from the drop-down menu. This lets us customize the prompt directly inside the node. Then, from the list on the left, drag the text field, which is the message we sent in Telegram, over to the prompt input area. This way, the AI will receive our message as input, and we can ask it to extract the data we need. Next, let's add a DeepSeek chat model node to handle our AI processing. You're going to need to create new credentials for this step. It's a quick process, but since it involves sensitive API keys, we'll skip showing that part on screen. You can find all the necessary information on how to set up your credentials in the included documentation. Once your credentials are ready, hit the Save button to lock them in. Now let's click the Execute Workflow button. Hop back over to your Telegram bot and type a simple message. Then, back in our workflow, click on the AI Agent node. You should see the AI's response in the Output section, interpreting the message you just sent from Telegram. Once again, let's add a Telegram node. But this time, choose the Send a Chat Message action. From the list on the left, drag the AI Output field, the response from our AI Agent, into the Text field of this node. Next, drag the Chat ID field into the Chat ID field. Then, from the Add Field option, choose Append N8N Attribute and toggle it off. Now that everything's set, hit the Test Step button to try it out. If it works, your bot should reply right in Telegram with the AI's interpreted message. Now, we need to head over to Google Drive and create a new Google Sheet for our expenses. Let's name this sheet N8N underscore expense tracking so it's easy to find later. Now, in the first row, add three columns, date, expense, and amount. These will be the fields where our workflow will store the data. Now, we need to add a Google Sheets node to our workflow. This is where we'll send the expense data to be saved. You're going to need to create new credentials for this too. It's pretty straightforward, but since it involves sensitive info like OAuth tokens, we won't show that part on screen. You can find all the necessary information on how to set up your credentials in the included documentation. Once your credentials are set up, click the Sign in with Google button to connect your account. Once your account is connected, from the Document from List input, select the N8 and Expense Tracking Spreadsheet we created earlier. Next, in the Sheet from List input, choose the sheet you want to use. Usually it's just Sheet 1 unless you've renamed it. 
Now, from the Operation input, select Append Row. This will add a new row to your sheet every time a new expense is processed. At the bottom of the node, you'll see the Values to Send options pop up with our Date, Expense, and Amount fields. Click the little sparkle icon next to each one. This lets you map the value dynamically from our workflow's data. Now, let's click on the AI Agent node again and hit the Add option. From the drop-down menu, choose System Message. This is where we define the instructions for the AI to follow when processing our messages. I've added a ready-to-use prompt for this in the description below, so feel free to grab it from there. Next, click the little expression button next to the system message field. This lets us add dynamic values into our prompt. At the end of the prompt, type double curly brackets dollar sign today. This will inject the current date and time into the AI instructions automatically. When we expand the text field, you'll see it's pulling in the actual date time value. To test if everything's working correctly, let's head over to our Telegram bot and type a message describing an expense. Now, jump back into our workflow and hit the Test Workflow button. If everything worked like it should, you'll see the message processed by the AI sent back to Telegram and, most importantly, your new expense saved inside the Google Sheet. The next step is to level this up by adding an option to send a voice message describing our expense and have it logged automatically into the Google Sheet, just like a text message. To start, let's head over to our Telegram bot and send a quick voice message. For example, I spent $10 on drinks. Now, when we hit the Test Workflow button after sending our voice message, you'll notice something different. The workflow stops at the switch node. And when we click on it, you can see that the message.txt value is showing up in red. That's because there's no text field in a voice message. Click the Add Routing Rule button. Now, from the left-hand section, drag over the File ID field. This is what gets attached to voice messages. Into the Value 1 field. Then, set the condition to Exists. This way, the workflow knows what to do when it gets a voice message. Now, we need to add a Telegram node, but this time, set the action to get a file. From the left-hand section, drag over the file ID into the file ID field, then click the Test Step button to see if it works. On the right-hand side, you should see the output pop up with the file metadata, including the file path and type. Now, let's add an OpenAI node, and this time, select the Transcribe a Recording Audio action. You're going to need to create new credentials for this as well. It's a quick process, but since it involves your API key, we'll skip showing that part on screen. Once that's done, click the Save button to lock in your settings. Now, click the Test Step button to get it ready. Next, head back over to Telegram and send a new expense voice message to your bot. Once the workflow runs, click on the Open AI node. On the right side, you'll see the output with your transcribed voice message text. The last thing we need to do before sending it off to the AI model is add an Edit Field Set node. From the left section, drag the transcribed text value from the OpenAI node output into the Fields to Set input. Then, change the field name to message.txt so the workflow treats it the same way it does a regular text message. Now, hit the Test Step button to make sure it's working as expected. And that's it. Now when we run the workflow, your voice message will get transcribed, interpreted by the AI, and logged into the Google Sheet just like a text message. Automated, clean, and hands-free. Exactly how expense tracking should be.